So far, so good. All right. Let's wait for the well picture. Okay, so this is our well. Okay, so from here, we can go to this one, design, and you will find intermittent gas lift. Okay, so it's going to be quite easy. Surface injection pressure, 1,500, the available injection pressure. And we will set the injection depth at depth of 7,430 with the gas gravity for the gas lift gas, 0 0.68. And the operating wellhead pressure, 250 PSIG. And valve port size, 24 per 64 inches. Okay, so you can try several port sizes. Okay, but in this case, Let's say I already do the evaluation and then I have this one, this size, 24 by 64. Water cut as per IPR data, 80% with tubing liquid level. I want to set it at 4,500 feet. Okay, so let's press the calculate very, very fast, okay? And let's open it. So we will have downhole injection pressure at the depth of this injection depth, okay? And we will also have downhole pressure, okay? Downhole pressure, this is the downhole injection pressure. This is the downhole pressure, the tubing pressure or the tubing production pressure, bottom hole flowing pressure to be exact. And it's interesting, we can also get the slug velocity, bubble velocity for our flow regime. And the gas injection rate at this condition is this one, 52,000 SEF per day. Fallback, there will be fallback in this one. Produce slug length. Okay, so now we will produce slugs and the length is quite long. Okay, and you need to inform the surface facility engineers regarding this luck. This luck can bring uh, can bring trouble, I think. Okay, due to the impact it brings to the surface equipment and produce luck volume. Almost seventeen barrels, and this is the pressure, the ratio of casing pressure and the slug pressure produced by accumulated slug length or produced or accumulated slug length, starting slug length by valve depth, the time to surface, okay, this one, cycle frequency, okay, so this is important, the cycle frequency for our intermittent gas lift operation, okay, so it means that now we inject the gas, okay, inject the gas, enable the flow, and then we will stop the injection, okay, for almost four hours, okay. Oh, I think let's be careful here. Per hour, we will have almost four cycles, okay. So within one hour, we will have four injections and four shut-ins. Okay, four injections and four without injection. Okay, so that's the cycle. And at this operation state, we will produce at rate of 1,537 stock tank barrel per day. So that's quite satisfying. Okay, and let's check the valves. And we'll select constant surface closing pressure. Okay, and you can follow me. For this one, we have for the input data, surface injection pressure, unloading fluid gradient. Okay. After completion, for example. All right. Surface injection pressure, again, 1,500 PSIG. 
unloading fluid gradient, for example, after the completion, right? Because we still need to make our system prepared for unloading operation. 0 0.46, for example, heavier than water because of I use uh, completion fluid, which involve brine, so it is quite heavier than the usual water, okay, or fresh water. And for the spacing factor, I will allow 0 0.1 PSI per foot. Okay. Well head pressure, same 250. And surface closure pressure or surface closing pressure, 800. So it means that at surface condition at 800 PSIG, the valve, the injection valve, the gas lift valve will close, okay? And of course, you need to translate the pressure to the bottom hole pressure at each depth, okay? At the depth at which the valve is installed. And then maximum depth of injection, 7,500 feet, okay? So far so good now. We can easily calculate the results using this one. Press calculate. Okay, so again, so that's very quick. We have this one, the wellhead depth. Okay, this one, the spacing pressure or wellhead pressure, closing pressure, starting from injection pressure of 1,500. Okay, and we have four valves at this depths with spacing pressure, okay, closing pressure, and injection pressure. Okay, so this is the results. And let's check the plot, the green one, spacing pressure. Okay. And this one, closing pressure, the red line. Okay, and then the blue line is the injection pressure. Okay, the injection pressure. Okay, so far so good. So very easy to design the intermittent gas lift using Prosper, very interesting. And this one, the gradient is of course the, the line created using gradient of this one, unloading fluid gradient of 0 0.46 PSI per foot. Okay, so let's again, let's check this plot. Okay, closing pressure is the pressure below which injection valve will close, the gas lift valve will close. Okay. Whereas the spacing pressure, the spacing pressure, or we can also say this is the producing pressure, okay? The tubing pressure during production, okay? Or during unloading, okay? So far so good. So we can click done, click done. All right, and then for the this one, we can go, you can see the results are distributed or populated into this section automatically. You can see the surface injection pressure of 1,500, the injection depth at this one, okay? You can see the symbol or the picture of the operating valve for intermittent injection, right? It's not continuous injection, it's intermittent injection but the injection will be located at this depth. And this is the gas gravity for the gas lift gas, 0 0.68. Wellhead pressure during production, 250. And this is the valve port size, water cut 80%, and tubing liquid level, 4,500. Okay, so far so good. And as usual, the last section is of course the calculation.